In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a trailing stop loss on the Bing X futures market. This video is not financial advice and is for educational purposes only. If you get some value out of this video, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe for future content. Let's get into the video. Before demonstrating a trailing stop loss, I'll first have to get myself into a small position here. And I'll demonstrate this using Bitcoin versus Tether on a daily time frame. So what I need to do is come up here to the order panel and I'll go ahead and just mark it into a position here. I'll do something like this and open long and confirm. Now I've entered a small long position. To set up a trailing stop loss for this position, I'll have to come back up here to the order panel, click on close, then hover over where it says trigger and select trailing stop from this drop down menu. Next, I need to come down to this box right here and enter a callback rate. You can see that this box is currently configured to a percentage. So if I was to type in three like so, this means that the trailing stop loss will follow behind price action by 3%. You can also change the settings of this box if you come over here to the percentage icon and you can select tether in this drop down menu. Now I can choose a tether amount. So if I was to type in 500 tether, this means that the trailing stop loss will follow behind price action by 500 tether. So as you can see, you can set a tether amount or you can set a percentage. Certainly use whatever you prefer. For this demonstration, I'll go ahead and just leave this on 500 tether. Next, I need to choose how much of the position that I wish to close if my trailing stop loss gets hit in the future. You can type a custom amount into this box here, and alternatively, you can use the slider bar. I'll just go ahead and slide this up to 100%. This means that I'll be closing my entire position if my trailing stop loss gets hit. Now that I have my trailing stop loss set up the way that I want it, I just simply come down here and click on close long. Then you'll get an order confirmation pop-up window so you can confirm the details are what you intended. I'm going to come down here and click on confirm. Now I've added a trailing stop loss to my position. And if we come over here to the chart, you can see it right here in this red box. So as price action begins to move to the upside, this trailing stop loss will be following behind by 500 tether. If at any point price action was to roll over by 500 tether, it's going to hit the trailing stop loss and it's going to close my entire position. If price action was to roll over right here, right now, by 500 tether, it's going to come down, hit my stop loss, and I'd be closed out in a small loss. You can find the details of your trailing stop loss if you come down here, click on open orders, click on trailing stop, and here's where you'll be able to see the details of your trailing stop loss. If at any point you'd like to cancel it, you can come over here underneath operation, and you can click on cancel. Alternatively, you can come up here to the chart, and just click on this little X inside this red box, just like so. Then we'll come up here and click on confirm. And as you can see, I just removed that trailing stop loss. Usually I only use a trailing stop loss when an asset is breaking out to all time highs and going through price discovery. That way, if it suddenly pulls back and reverses, I can lock in my profits. So what I like to do is I like to zoom the chart out a bit, look left, see what a normal price fluctuation is before choosing my trailing delta. That way, I'm not getting stopped out on any normal price fluctuations. A lot of traders will lose money or miss out on profits by simply setting their stop losses too tight. So food for thought when you're setting up your trailing stop loss, but that's how you can get this done. And there you have it. That's how you can set up a trailing stop loss on the Bing X futures market. If you got some value out of this video, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe for future content. Also feel free to check out my other Bing X tutorials, which I've put together in a playlist on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.